Top 10 Most Interesting Facts About Polish Army The Polish Army, officially known as the Polish Armed Forces, has a storied history and plays a significant role in both regional and global security. Number 10. Historical Origins The roots of the Polish Army can be traced back to the formation of the Kingdom of Poland in the 10th century. One of the earliest recorded military engagements involving Polish forces was the Battle of Sedinia in 972, where the Poles defeated the Germans. Over the centuries, the Polish military has been involved in numerous significant historical events, including the Battle of Grunwald in 1410 against the Teutonic Knights, one of the largest battles of medieval Europe. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, established in 1569, also boasted a formidable military, known for its winged hussars, who were considered one of the most effective cavalry units in history. The winged hussars were known for the distinctive armor and tactics, which included the use of long lances and heavy cavalry charges that often decided the outcome of battles. They played a crucial role in many victories, including the Battle of Vienna in 1683, where they helped lift the Ottoman siege of the city. Number 9. Role in World War II The Polish army played a crucial role during World War II. Despite being overrun by both Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union in 1939, Polish forces continued to fight throughout the war. The Polish armed forces in the West, including the famed Polish Second Corps, distinguished themselves in several key battles, such as the Battle of Monte Cassino in Italy. The Polish resistance movement, including the Home Army, Armia Krajowa, was one of the largest and most effective underground movements in occupied Europe. They carried out numerous sabotage operations, intelligence gathering, and uprisings, with the Warsaw Uprising in 1944 being one of the most notable acts of resistance. The Warsaw Uprising was a major operation by the Polish resistance to liberate Warsaw from German occupation. Despite initial successes, the uprising was brutally suppressed by the Germans, resulting in significant casualties and the destruction of much of the city. The bravery and sacrifice of the Home Army during the war left a lasting legacy on Polish national identity. Number 8. The Warsaw Pact Era Following World War II, Poland became a member of the Warsaw Pact, the military alliance led by the Soviet Union. During this period, the Polish People's Army was integrated into the Soviet military structure and was equipped with Soviet weaponry and trained according to Soviet doctrines. The Cold War era saw Poland maintain a large conscript army, ready to be deployed alongside Soviet forces in the event of a conflict with NATO. Polish soldiers participated in Warsaw Pact exercises and were part of the overall strategy of the Eastern Bloc to counter Western military power. The Warsaw Pact era also involved significant political control over the Polish military by the Soviet Union. With Polish forces participating in the suppression of uprisings in other Eastern Bloc countries, such as the 1968 invasion of Czechoslovakia. Number 7. Transition to NATO. With the fall of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War, Poland underwent a significant transformation. One of the most notable changes was Poland's accession to NATO in 1999. This shift marked a major realignment of Poland's military and geopolitical stance. Joining NATO required extensive modernization and reform of the Polish armed forces to meet the alliance's standards. This included upgrading equipment, adopting Western military doctrines, and enhancing interoperability with other NATO members. Poland has since become one of NATO's most active and committed members, participating in various missions and operations around the world. Poland's transition to NATO also involved significant investments in military infrastructure and the development of a professional, volunteer-based military force. The country has hosted numerous NATO exercises and has been a key player in the alliance's collective defense initiatives. Number 6. Modernization efforts. Since joining NATO, the Polish army has embarked on an extensive modernization program. This has included procuring new equipment, such as the Leopard 2 tanks from Germany, the F-16 fighter jets from the United States, and more recently, the Patriot missile defense system. The modernization efforts also focus on improving command and control systems, logistics, and training. Poland aims to create a more flexible, capable, and technologically advanced military to effectively respond to modern threats and enhance its role within NATO. The country has also invested in developing its defense industry, producing advanced systems like the Rizomak armored vehicle and the Pior and Man portable air defense system. The modernization program has also involved restructuring the Polish military to enhance its rapid response capabilities and improve its ability to participate in multinational operations. Poland has prioritized the development of a strong, capable force that can contribute to NATO's collective security and respond to emerging threats. 
Number 5, Special Forces. The Polish Armed Forces boast highly trained and well-equipped Special Forces units, known for their professionalism and effectiveness. Units such as GROM, Operational Maneuver Response Group, are modeled after Western Special Forces and have gained a reputation for their capabilities. GROM, established in 1990, has been involved in numerous international operations, including in Iraq, Afghanistan, and the Balkans. Their missions typically involve counter-terrorism, hostage rescue, and direct action operations. The success of Polish Special Forces in various theaters has cemented their reputation as elite units within the international special operations community. Poland's Special Forces are also involved in training and capacity-building efforts with partner nations, enhancing their ability to conduct joint operations and respond to global security challenges. The focus on special operations capabilities reflects Poland's commitment to maintaining a versatile and effective military force. Number 4. International Peacekeeping and Military Operations Poland has been an active participant in international peacekeeping and military operations. Polish troops have served in various United Nations and NATO missions, contributing to global security and stability. Notable deployments include missions in Kosovo, Iraq, and Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, Polish forces were part of the International Security Assistance Force, ESAF, and later the Resolute Support Mission, where they played a significant role in training Afghan security forces and conducting combat operations against insurgents. Poland's participation in these missions has enhanced its military's experience and interoperability with other allied forces. Polish troops have also been deployed in peacekeeping missions in Africa and the Middle East, where they have contributed to stabilization efforts and supported humanitarian operations. Poland's commitment to international peacekeeping reflects its role as a responsible and active member of the global community. Number 3. Cyber Defense Capabilities Recognizing the growing importance of cyber warfare, the Polish armed forces have significantly invested in developing their cyber defense capabilities. This includes establishing specialized cyber units tasked with protecting military networks and critical infrastructure from cyber threats. Poland collaborates closely with NATO and other international partners to enhance its cyber defense posture. The country has hosted numerous cyber defense exercises and training sessions to improve its readiness and resilience against potential cyber attacks. Poland's commitment to strengthening its cyber capabilities is seen as crucial in countering the hybrid warfare tactics employed by adversaries. Poland's cyber defense strategy involves a multifaceted approach, including the development of offensive and defensive cyber capabilities. The establishment of a dedicated cyber command and collaboration with civilian agencies and private sector partners to enhance national cyber security. Number 2. Conscription and Professionalization Historically, Poland relied heavily on conscription to build its military forces. However, in 2009, the country transitioned to an all-volunteer force, reflecting a broader trend towards professionalization within the military. This shift aimed to create a more professional, motivated, and capable military. The professionalization process involved increasing the quality of training, improving conditions for service members, and enhancing career development opportunities. Today, the Polish armed forces are composed of professional soldiers, with a focus on maintaining high standards of readiness and performance. The transition to a professional military has also involved significant investments in education and training programs, as well as efforts to attract and retain skilled personnel. The professionalization of the Polish military has enhanced its operational capabilities and readiness to respond to a wide range of security challenges. Number 1. Strategic Importance and Regional Security Poland's geographic location makes it a strategic player in European and regional security. As a NATO member bordering Russia and Belarus, Poland plays a crucial role in the alliance's eastern flank defense strategy. The country hosts NATO's multinational core northeast headquarters in Zichyn and has participated in the NATO Enhanced Forward Presence (EFP) initiative by hosting multinational battle groups in its territory. Poland's commitment to regional security also includes significant defense spending, consistently meeting and often exceeding NATO's 2% of GDP guideline for defense budgets. This strategic importance has led to strong security ties with the United States and other NATO allies.